about Safari, one thing that you can't tell in video, but I'll let you play later, is uh, when, you, when you scroll, it's just so yeah. smooth now. Like, I can read so, that text as it's scrolling, which is amazing. Files, you know, I can move it around. It's, just, it's, it's literally like, it feels like it's glued to my pencil. Right here. Just uh, so now, if I want to bring the dock up, if I'm in an app like this, I simply swipe up a little, and I can actually tap into messages. But if I want to bring messages up directly on top of Safari, I can come up here, and I can just move it over. Now, if I leave it here like this, I can put it on the right or on the left. Um, if I pull down just a little, it'll lock it into split screen. And then, of course, I can, you know, I can make it larger or smaller as I see fit. Uh, and there's also a new multitasking window as well. Uh, are you thinking about the uh, control center? So if I scroll up here, I get the dock. But if I keep going, I'm in control center. And that's where I can see all my different windows here. And you can also get to that through the home button as well. I can. If I if I was back on the home screen, I, I'd simply swipe up to get the control center. So it's the same swipe up. But if, yeah. but if you're in an app, can, can you double tap the home button, I thought? Right? You can still get back. Oh, you can do that from within an app if you want to. You can just scroll up. Yeah, or the home screen. Right here. Right here. Yep. And off it goes. Um, when I hit done, if I want to delete You want to take a look at the files app real quick? Yeah, That's yeah, right. Sure. So if I tap into the files app here, um, you can see a regular file structure like you're used to, right? I can tap into a folder if I want. I can tap back out of that folder. Um, up here on the left is iCloud Drive and the local stuff. I might have on my iPad, but I also have all my third party providers here. Um, I will show you the multi selection that they showed on the screen. So the way you do multi selection is you grab a file and you start dragging it. Once you've started dragging it, then you can just tap yeah, other files nice and add them to your stack. Cool. And then I could drag them over here to my tagging mechanism and tag them. But watch this. So this is also cool. So if I do the same thing, if I grab a couple files, I'll grab just three files here. Watch what I can do here. I can bring up the dock and I can, for instance, tap in the mail. Right. And I can... Uh, Go here, uh, go into my inbox, and I can do a new mail and drag them right in. So you've got a lot of fun functionality. Once you've grabbed those files, they just sit there on your finger, right. and you can navigate around and put them anywhere you want. Awesome. Yeah. Um, all right, let's say that I want to uh, annotate on this page, right? So I'll do a screenshot. So you can see when I do a screenshot, it brings the screenshot right down here, and if I want to send it off or I can annotate it directly so I can you know let's do blue text how's this and I can say uh, you know I can write a little note there and then I can from here just tap and send it off via the mails messages whatever yeah add it to notes um, a lot of flexibility now the nice thing is when I hit this done button you can see that it's going to give me the option to save it to my photo roll, my camera roll, if I want to. But, like, I don't want to save, save this, later, right? Yeah, yeah, it's like sometimes I want to save stuff, but I just wanted to send this via messages. So once I've sent it, I can delete the screenshot, and it just doesn't clog up anymore. Which is you don't nice. have to worry about going through your photos and deleting a bunch of screenshots. Or, like, or like being in your living room and a slideshow's playing, and you've got screenshots yeah. playing with your kids' photos. Right. You know, it's like, um, it's really convenient. Yeah. Um,